I got the fine man's to crush him Five grand to hush him Niggas talking shit, it's my chance to flush him My fans to brush him, my mans to rush him Imagine if I woulda used my hands to touch him Who wanted what I, you run with the guy That's like suicide, you wanted to die Too blunt if you lie, few done it like I It's free to look at the coup, it's too Boy Sanchez 23 coming at you with my latest pickup. Um, let's talk about these shoes real quick. Uh, these shoes dropped. This is the Air Jordan release. Uh, supposed to be a quick strike, really limited shoe. Releasing on December 11th, 2010. Um, mostly foot actions. Um, out here in New York, Foot Locker, Times Square, I believe is only getting 72 pairs of these. Um, that's not a lot for them. That's a store that usually gets about 250 on a regular release. 72 pairs is not a lot, it's pretty limited. Um, the store I got these in, let me show you the shoe real quick first. The Altitude 13. Um, really wanted this shoe really bad. Uh, went on a sneaker hunt on Friday, tried to see if I could find them, could not find them anywhere. Um, I actually got my hands on these from a store that I know in Manhattan that usually gets a good amount of Jordans. So let me tell you this, number one, you smell great. Um, this shoe is going to be a lot more limited than most people will think. Uh, the store that I got this from usually gets up to, you know, the hundreds in their releases for the Flints and just regular general releases. For these, they got about nine pairs, and they only had from, like, size 8 to 12. And they had two 10 and a halfs, so I bought two. Here you go. All right, I, I think this shoe is going to be a lot limited than people think. Let's talk about the shoe first. Here's your Jordan tag right there, size 10 and a half. Altitude green on the tongue. Mesh on the side instead of leather like the 2005s. I did not get the 2005s in this shoe. Um, I really wish I could have. It was a really nice looking shoe. And if I'm still able to scoop a pair, I will. But I probably won't. Um, the green on the bottom. If you see the comparison videos, you know it's a lot different. The hologram right there. There's another hologram right there. The shoe is fresh. The shoe is really clean. Um, like I said, I think it's going to be a lot more limited than people think. Um, if you can get your hands on a pair, get a pair, definitely. Uh, here's my box. So the box price is $160. Okay, I did not pay $160 for these. I paid a little bit more than retail, but under $200. Um, so I, I think that because of the limitedness on this, they were selling them for a lot more. I was out in Brooklyn last week, and in Brooklyn, they were selling them for $250, $300. Um, like I said, most stores only got like eight or nine pairs. Some stores got 15 the most. That's not even a lot of pairs. Um, so if you can get your hands on this shoe, scoop it up because it's going to go. Um, right now, it's going for a low price of whatever it is. If you find it for $250, I believe after the release date, you're going to see it skyrocket to maybe $300. Um, this is very limited, and it's just as limited as the first release on this. Um, same quality with the tumble leather, and then that's crackled snake skin that's all around, all around the back. So, it's a great shoe. Um, definitely needed it in my collection. Got to get all the 13s this year. You can't go wrong with them. Very comfortable shoe. Top five favorite shoe of any Jordan fan. They'll tell you. 13s, 11s, 4s, 3s, 6s, all good shoes to have. So, that being said, with the two pairs right here, if you do want a pair of these, let me know. Size 10 and a half, dead stock still. Um, not that I want to make some money on these. I usually sell my shoes really cheap, and everybody that buys shoes from me knows that. But um, I think I could get at least 260 for these. So I'm going to start at 260 and I'll keep that price up until somebody buys them. If not, I'll just keep two pairs. Somewhere down the line, I'm going to rock them. I'm definitely going to rock them, but, you know, they're all black, so they don't get that beat up. But, yeah, 260 for these, shipped, 260 shipped. It sounds like a lot, guys, but think about it. When this shoe drops, after it releases, absolutely is going to, it's going to be sold out. It's not going to be, you're not going to be able to order this online. Um, I don't think Nike.com is going to have these on their website like the Dornbachers. And these are going to hit very limited stores. It's supposed to be only foot action and house of hoops. So... Like I said, if somebody wants them, 260, you don't have to wait online. I already have them. Today is Tuesday, um, December 7th, December 7th or 8th. I don't even know what today is. Just got home from work. 
So December 7th or 8th, you can have them before the release date. If I ship them tomorrow, you'll get them Friday. If I ship them any other day, you'll get them Monday next week. <coughs> Avoid the lines. Get yourself a pair. Um, I might even try to scoop up one more pair just to have, just in case I sell this pair um, on the release date. But I know it's going to be really hard. Like I said, a lot of stores only got 15 to 20 pairs tops. Um, that's really limited release. So don't sleep on these. Make sure you get you a pair. Um, they'll be out in stores on December 11th. And some stores out here in New York definitely have them early. If you want to PM me, um, I'll definitely send you, I'll tell you what stores right now have them for 250 If you got the money and cash in your hand, you can go get them for 250 right now. I can't even tell you what stores have patent leathers in, in cool gray you can get today for 275 um, there's a lot of stores out in New York that have them already, so they're just boosting the prices. Same thing with these. Like I said, I didn't even pay retail. I had to pay a little bit more just to make sure that I got the two pairs that I needed. So that's it for you guys. If you want these, hit me up, private message. Those people who bought shoes for me before, you probably already got my personal email. Hit me up fast on my personal email. Um, these should not last. I should be able to sell these before the week is over. And that's it. Thanks for checking out my video. My next pickup coming up soon definitely should be the white and red 13s. Uh, check out my other videos if you haven't already. Um, I got some really nice LeBron videos out there. I got a for sale video with some good shoes still left. I got my Flint video, which is pretty nice. I will do an on feet for these these shoes when I get my Flints together. I'll just wear them together at the same time. And I'll do an on feet video since I didn't do that before. Great shoe, man. Great quality. Good leather. 260 ship. Holla at me. Let me know. I'll definitely ship them out UPS. You guys already know how I do it. I'm legit. So, thanks for watching my videos. Shout out to Friend Relations for his Friend Relations and Friends uh, video that he's doing. Hopefully, this video hits his website. I'm going to shoot him an email with this video. Okay, guys, let me know what you think about these. Um, let me know if you're going to go out and get them. Tell me some of your stories, how you're going to do, how you're going to strategize, how, who's going to wait in line with you. If you're going to go with your peoples, if you're going to hit a couple stores, let me know. Also, I've been thinking about doing some vlog videos, but nothing like, you know, checking out my day. More like something interesting, like checking out the stores I go to, where I shop at. Um, so you guys can see a little bit of New York, see, you know, what goes down in, you know, I go to a lot of different stores. I don't just shop at like Brooklyn and Harlem and certain spots that everybody else goes to. I find like little down low stores, like in corners of streets, of side streets, um, stores that you wouldn't even know that were there if you didn't, you know, if you wasn't from out here. Or even if you live in New York, you could live on one side of the Bronx and I could live on another side of the Bronx and there's sneaker stores you haven't even seen before. So, I want to start doing those videos. Let me know if you like that. If not, I won't do them. You know, whatever it is. I'll still get my pickups no matter what. But um, I think it's interesting for people to see how it is out here. Like, And I would like to see some other people do their videos like that too. Like what spots they go to. And uh, what kind of love they get when they go to those spots. Do you have a local spot that you always go to? Because I got a couple spots that I always go to. And I know I can get my shoes and they're pretty reliable. But for stuff like this, I know I got to hunt. I got to get up early, I got to get my money right, I got to make sure that I don't spend too much money, I got to control myself, make sure I don't buy three pairs when I want two or buy one. So, that's what it is guys, let me know. This is the shoe so far for me, this is going to be my top five of the whole year. Every shoe I bought is going to be in my top five. So, peace guys, once again check out the other videos and I'll talk to you soon. Say chisel out.